Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning, Your Majesty. And it's wonderful to be with you celebrating uh, this year's British Science Week. British Science Week is a bit of a misnomer because it's actually a, a 10 day celebration of STEM, sort of science, technology, engineering and maths. My name is uh, Dr. Maggie Adarin Pocock and I'm a space scientist and a science communicator. And I, I do love to share my passion with uh, of science with everyone. So it is a true honour to be speaking with you just now. The reasons I became a space scientist is because of someone I share a birthday with. So it was actually my birthday yesterday on the 9th of March, but uh, Yuri Gagarin, the first human to travel out into space, was also born on the 9th of March. And I believe, uh, ma'am, that you met him. Uh, can you tell I us did. about that? <laughs> I did indeed, yes. It was very interesting to meet him. What was he like? Russian. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't speak English. He didn't speak English. No, no, he was fascinating. And, yes. uh, and and I suppose being the first one, it it was particularly fascinating. Yes, yes. Uh, he's been quite an inspiration for me, um, sort of a, a getting into space science. I also think it must have been very terrifying to be the first one and not knowing what's really going to happen. <laughs> yes, could you could you come back again? Yes, because I think in those days, very uh, important. <laughs> yeah, it's one thing going, but coming back is good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So um, without further ado, um, I'd like to hand over to Caroline, um, who can talk us through some of the exciting results that are coming back up from the surface of Mars. Thank you, Maggie. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. It's a real pleasure to, uh, to see you this afternoon. And I'd like to just run through some um, images of the Mars 2020 Perseverance rover, which I'm very honoured to be a part of the science team for that mission. So this instrument, I don't know whether you can see my mouse, but on the right hand side, this is on the end of the arm. Um, on the right hand side, you can see a, a white sort of box with a triangular shape. That's actually the Sherlock instrument and it's an acronym. It stands for Scanning Habitable Environments Using Raman and Laser for Organic Chemistry. So NASA and various European agencies and the UK Space Agency, we love our acronyms. So any acronym we can make up, we always will try and make up an acronym. But this instrument works by firing out a laser beam onto a sample of rock. And you can look at the way the rock sort of interacts with that laser beam and you can measure the spectra. And that will tell you the, the, the minerals that are in that rock and also the chemistry of that rock. Because the Perseverance rover, the Mars 2020 mission's main aim is to look for evidence of past life on Mars, which I just think is absolutely thrilling. And this is looking into the distance um, on the Martian surface in the Jezero crater region where the, the Perseverance rover has landed. It's very rock and strewn, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. So this area, Your Majesty, is actually a, a crater that formed early in Mars's history, probably about four billion years ago. And that crater actually was full of water. Um, and water, obviously, is a key element you need for life. Um, so that's one of the reasons why we are going there. We've chosen this, this specific part of Mars to explore. And I, if I can just have one more slide to show you, Your Majesty, um, I don't know whether you have seen on the news. Uh, we're very excited because we have a new British meteorite that fell Oops. just at the end of last week. Yes. Um, so I'd just like to show you this image. So this is an image of one of the meteorite fragments that was found. So at about five to nine last Sunday evening, a large fireball was seen across a huge amount of the United Kingdom and pieces of meteorite actually fell um, in Gloucestershire, just north of Cheltenham. Because it, it looks very really mixed rock. Yes, it is. So what you can see in this image is, is there's a sort of red patch at the front. Um, mm -hmm. That's actually the surface of the meteorite. Um, and you, as you point out, there are different um, patches in there. So the white objects could be things called calcium aluminium rich inclusions, which are some of the first materials to form in our solar system. And you can see other sort of textures, which could be things called chondrules. Again, these form uh, very early in the solar system. But there's so much information in this really, really sort of quite inconspicuous looking rock. People say they look a little bit like tarmac or charcoal briquettes, but they're far more interesting than <laughs> charcoal briquettes. Riveting. Mm. Fascinating. So um, I think and next I'd like to go on and introduce uh, uh, Alexandra and uh, Fiona from the Science Museum. And uh, they'll be actually doing a live demonstration for us. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Uh, sadly, 
we can't welcome visitors just yet, but we have been doing plenty of work behind the scenes to engage young people during the pandemic, as well as support parents and carers during this really challenging time. Now I'm going to hand you over to my colleague Fiona, who will talk about the work we did with Thomas Jones School. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Uh, good afternoon, Your Majesty. So yes, this morning uh, we had a really fun session with the Thomas Jones School, uh, where we talked a little bit about space and we talked about rockets. We had a chat a little bit about Perseverance as well and the Mars rover. Um, and we also did an experiment with them. We had an absolutely brilliant morning with the Science Museum and um, creating our um, our rocket mice. Um, so, Ibrahim, would you like to explain a little bit about how we made our rocket mice? Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Today, I will explain to you how we done it. So, first, what we do is we cut out a rocket mouse template. Next, we formed it into a cone shape and decorated it. Finally, we had to um, put it onto the top of the a um, bottle and then we swish it really hard and then it will launch like this <laughs> ah, very successful <laughs> three two two one Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that has ended well that's been very interesting to hear and i hope the children have enjoyed it too because they uh, might learn something from it as well <laughs> and I think it's fascinating to see the pictures of Mars. Um, unbelievable, really, to, to think one can actually see its surface. Well, it's been a very interesting morning. Thank you very much indeed. And it's wonderful work you're all doing. So it's a great pleasure to see you all. Thank you so much, Thank Your you Majesty. Majesty. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.